What's up, Trainiacs? You know you're starting to travel a fair bit when the airline attendants start recognizing you. Well, we have just spent three days at home and we are on the road again, heading to LA to produce the How to Bike with Cam Worf Masterclass. And because you all seem to like it and you ask such good questions, we are going to answer the questions that you asked me on Instagram. Some good ones. I took a look. May I have your attention, please? Yes. Another staging two. We got a little bit of time before we gotta hop on the flight. So, first question, is it okay to dial back an intense workout and make up for it the next day? Making up for workouts the next day, I certainly don't agree with. And if you have to dial back a workout, that's probably an indication that you need some rest. So it's not like, hey, rest and then boom, slap it into the next day, because that just has a trickle effect. If you miss a workout, you miss a workout. But that's okay, that's part of training just pushing things into future days because you feel bad that you miss them is likely going to lead to injuries, overuse, overtraining, all kinds of things like that. If you miss a workout, typically it's gone. Do you count transition runs into your weekly mileage? Yeah, it's running, isn't it? Running is running, absolutely. How's the jet lag? You tell me. In the video, Shirt Taren Eats, you mentioned writing a book. Any details yet, or is it top secret? Um, yeah, I've been thinking a lot about the book. I've actually developed a skeleton for it. I have to actually write the proposal for the book. The idea of it that I've got in mind is like all the things that go around training, not like here is literally how to train, but things like the supplements you should take. Um, tire pressure like what it the idea is like high leverage tips things that are actually really useful separate out the propaganda from here's what's useful here's what's practical here's what you can actually implement and has been proven to be really effective and told in really short chapters each chapter is maybe only two to three pages which makes it really digestible here's the science behind it here's how you implement it Here's why it's beneficial. Boom, on to the next chapter. That's what I've got in mind. Best tips for increasing run speed. Long runs should be zone two, but you can't go much faster without spiking the heart rate. So I imagine where he went with this is, how do you go fast if you can't really run fast with long runs? Well, a prescription for a weekly running plan is one long run that is low, steady, build up your cardiovascular system, one fast run, that's where you get fast, one hill run, that's where you start recruiting more muscle groups, one brick run. If you really want to knock running out of the park, you do those four runs consistently for a few years, you be real fast. How to train to keep your heart rate down during a hot race? Part of it is training to keep your heart rate down just in training. So that's a lot of zone two training, that's building up your cardiovascular system. What you can also do is do a sauna protocol where in the six weeks leading up to a race, you start with three 10 minute sessions in the sauna immediately after your last hard workout of the day with no fluids in that sauna. Build it up to three times a week, going 30 minutes, no fluids still, immediately after a hard workout and that will ideally lower your sweat rate so you start sweating quicker and it keeps your body temperature cooler. Spin bike or bike trainer? Bike trainer, hands down bike trainer. You wanna spend as much time as you can on your bike in the right position, bike trainer. Check this out, this is where I live. Y'all don't believe me? This morning it was minus 30 Celsius with the wind chill. That's right, wind chill. The wind has its own temperature cool rating. Yoga for strength and mobility on my triathlon Terran training plan. 
Absolutely. Well, I'm not going to put it in because I don't know a whole lot about yoga, but I think yoga is fantastic for mobility, body awareness. Very, very good. If you are going to add it in, just remember you've got to take something else out. Yoga itself is a workout. It's draining. It has a load on your body. So just adding in yoga and being like, ooh, it's not a hard workout can lead to overtraining. Do you think Fredino can make a successful comeback this year? Yes, absolutely. He's such a phenomenally talented athlete. I think that he may still have a really good Kona in him. He is, however, I would say on kind of the, the getting towards the end of his career. So it's going to be hard for him to come back. But based off of last year, I don't think we can rule him out. Besides that injury he had, he killed it last year. What are your cheat, splurge, meals, and drinks? I don't really have cheat meals. I tend to just eat kind of the same all the time, but I have red wine if you want to count it that. I have a lot of sweet potato fries if you want to count that as a cheat meal. After a race, I will crush an entire bag of jujubes or gummy bears, and I might have a Corona in the summer when it's hot on the deck. I love a Corona and a lime. Yeah, there's nothing that really stands out as like, I, I ate crap. Oh, pizza. Yeah, yeah, I'll crush a pizza. You put a pizza in front of me, it's going down. Do I watch pro cycling? NTK and I, oh, this is fun. NTK is actually coming on this trip. Not right now, because she has to work right now, but I'm gonna meet her at the airport tomorrow or send her in an Uber to meet me but she loves the Tour de France. And while we're down there, Cam Wirth is actually on a training camp with G, Garrett Thomas, current Tour de France champion. Other than that, I don't watch a lot of pro cycling. Hey Taryn, what's your least favorite part of being a triathlon YouTube sensation? Well, I'd nix the sensation, but just being on YouTube, there isn't really that inherently with YouTube I dislike, what is tough occasionally, and this is a situation of my own making, is doing a video every single day. Not every single day is extremely interesting. And sometimes, if you've been around for a long time, I feel like I might repeat myself, but then I know that there's a lot of new people that haven't heard good stuff that I said, say, two years ago. And maybe if I just say something worded in a different way, even if somebody heard it two years ago, Maybe just a different wording will allow them to understand it better. Or maybe they're at a time in their training that they need to hear it. So that it's a bit of a treadmill doing these daily videos. And sometimes that's a hard thing. Oh, that was all the questions that I had right now. But um, I'll answer more. I'll answer more in a bit. Um, we're going to fly. People seem to like these. I will link to video there right up there from heading to, um, where's the last place that I went? Lanzarote with Lucy Charles. A couple of flights later, I am in Venice Beach and I know that for a fact because there's a homeless man rummaging through the garbage about 12 feet from here. Oh, all right, let's go ahead and answer some of the last few questions. Do you know why Specialized are dropping athletes left and right? Same reason Cervelo is dropping athletes left and right. The game in the bike industry has changed a lot and bike companies, they aren't making a lot of money. Ventum going direct to consumer, it's kinda, it's not just Ventum, but like Ventum, Canyon, these newer bike companies that are going direct to consumer are the ones that are doing well and it's those like go into a shop which has some margin and then those bike companies have to have a lower margin to like traditional bike companies are hurting. What's Gracie and Petey's favorite snacks? Fun fact, I gave them some sardines the other day. They went nutty, just wacky. They're my dogs, by the way, if you're new. How long did it take you to get a good triathlon time? Well, First two seasons, I was awful, and I didn't really make any progress. And then the third season, I decided to take it fairly seriously, and then, bam, first race out, went from about a 124 sprint distance race 
down to a 112 instantly. Stick around, I'll teach you stuff. Do you completely rule out any alcohol during training season? No, I have red wine all the time. Had a couple on the plane today. How did you feel in Lanzarote with all the elite athletes training with you and them? Well, I got to bike, if you don't know, with Patrick Langa, Lucy Charles, Reese Barkley, the entire BMC team. <sighs> Felt really cool until they dropped me like a bad habit. Do I travel with your indoor trainer? I think you might know where this is going. It's not a full Zwift setup in here. That is the Omnium Indoor Travel Bike Trainer. Yes, I did travel with it. Who wins 2019 Kona? Patrick Lang has established that he knows how to win there. With early issues, am I more relaxed or nervous since the release of Team Trainiac? Well, if all of you don't know, we have released the Team Trainiac platform. I haven't shared the URL here because I want to give first dibs to the Kickstarter athletes, the virtual camp athletes, everyone that signed up for the wait list. If all of them end up signing up and we have enough capacity on the team, and it looks like there's a lot of demand for it, and I actually just chatted with a coach, I think we're gonna have a second coach, so I think we're gonna have some capacity for athletes, then I will release it publicly. So that makes me very excited. However, it's still nervous because it's not like, talk to me in like a year after the website is going and people are renewing or not renewing and we've got a good handle on like, are we financially stable? Do we have a membership team that is rolling and doing well? I think I might end it there. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, he's still outside. And uh, make sure you're subscribed if you want to take part in the next, looks like it's going to be about two and a half weeks of travel, Cam Wharf, Sarah True, and then I think Aaron Carson, Tim Rinney in Boulder.